known as the land covered by glaciers, Antarctica represents about 90% of the world's ice and 80% of its freshwater. It is the windiest, coldest, and iciest continent. But Antarctica is more than just a frozen landmass, because underneath all that ice, are one of the most hidden land surfaces that are yet to be explored by humans. Antarctica holds many secrets beneath its vast ice sheets, even a massive mountain range. The Gamberts of mountain range is covered beneath a layer of ice that is 2 to 4,000 kilometers thick. They span over 1,200 kilometers and reach a height of 3,000 meters, a third of Mount Everest site. It was discovered by scientists when they were trekking through Antarctica and came across a thin layer of ice and noticed unusual gravity oscillations, which revealed the magnificent beauty underneath. Radars were used to see the physical properties of the mountains, and gravitational and magnetic measurements allowed them to study the mountains all the way to their base, despite the fact that we've never seen them. It is still very mystifying how the Gamberts have came to be and why they still exist. The mountains should have faded away with the passage of geological time, given they are roughly a billion years old. There are several ideas as to why they are still standing, the most popular of which is that the mountains are protected from erosion by a frozen mantle. Besides mountain ranges, it has been discovered that there is a massive subglacial canyon system that is buried underneath all that ice that might actually be deeper than the Grand Canyon. Evidence was shown from satellite imagery of the remote Princess Elizabeth land in East Antarctica. By combining data from satellites and ice penetrating radar hauled behind snowmobiles and onboard light aircraft, scientists were able to map the Ellsworth subglacial highlands, an ancient mountain range buried beneath several miles of Antarctic ice. It is still not determined when this was formed, however it is thought to be tens of millions of years ago. They still don't know if Antarctica has been glaciated for at least 34 million years, and if the ice in West Antarctica has fluctuated in size from small ice fields to the huge ice sheet we observe today during that time. One scientific theory is that it was formed when a river took advantage of a geological flaw, such as a fault. Glaciers, on the other hand, were responsible for the valley's deepening. Because a river cannot incise a valley below sea level, glaciers are responsible for this form of increasing erosion. It's difficult to imagine a body of water beneath the thick layers of ice in Antarctica, yet scientists have discovered a number of underground lakes. Around 400 lakes are believed to be buried beneath 3 kilometers of ice in Antarctica, which were discovered using radars in 1970. Even with the extreme cold temperature, the lakes don't freeze because of the ice sheet's weight. The largest subglacial lake, Lake Vostok, was found by Russian geologists in the 1990s. Located 3.5 kilometers beneath the ice, it's the world's third largest lake by volume. Despite the lake being covered in ice for nearly 20 million years, scientists have drilled deep holes in the ice to get a sample of the water. One of the famous underground lakes is the Deep Lake, it is an East Antarctic interior lake known as has long piqued the interest of experts. The salinity of its waters is 10 times greater than that of the ocean. As a result, despite temperatures as low as 20 ok at the bottom of the lake, the water does not freeze. It has one of the world's least productive, yet most fascinating ecosystems, making it almost inhabitable. Despite the fact that four microbe species have been discovered in the water by scientists, most other creatures should avoid the area. The lake is significantly cooler than the ocean, and some penguins have been seen swimming in it. Recent discoveries were made by scientists about two more lakes buried underneath the ice of Antarctica, the Lower Conway Subglacial Lake and the Lower Mercer Subglacial Lake. These icy treasures are tucked away beneath 1.2 to 2.5 miles of ice on Antarctica's southernmost continent, part of a massive network of ever-changing lakes. Over time, these lakes fill and empty in a series of strange cycles that may have an impact on how fast and where meltwater reaches the southern ocean, as well as how quickly and where it drains away. It's possible that this change in flow will have an impact on the southern ocean's currents and thus on global ocean circulation. There are lakes beneath the ice sheet where it meets the rocky continent of Antarctica. Greenland's meltwater runs through crevasses and holes called mulon, whereas in Antarctica, lakes emerge from beneath the ice due to pressure, friction, and perhaps geothermal heat. These bodies of water play a significant transformation during the course of history, and there are still a lot of unknown discoveries that are yet to be made by scientists. Imagine all the ice covering Antarctica, Greenland, and mountain glaciers around the world were to melt, sea level would rise about 70 meters. The ocean would cover all the coastal cities. And land area would shrink significantly. However, all the ice is not going to melt. The Antarctic ice cap, 
where most of the ice exists, has survived much warmer times than we are experiencing today. The concern is that portions of the Greenland and West Antarctic ice caps may disappear. We do not know how much or how quickly this could happen, because we do not know exactly how it will happen, but there is a possibility that it is going to happen. With all this information, it is safe to say that Antarctica is not just a continent full of ice, but it is also full of mysteries. What we're seeing is literally the tip of the iceberg because there are still a lot of unexplored places and secrets that are yet to be discovered. We would like to know about your thoughts about Antarctica in the comments section down below. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.